Hi this is Red Pixels Studio my name is Roshan Singh today in this video tutorial i am going to cover all the ways to place images into photoshop whether it's a single image or a batch process when you go with place embedded placed artwork or image become the part of your working file whereas place linked creates a dynamic link from the image to the photoshop file Place embedded can change your file size but place linked keep your file size low but the main difference between both the options is once original placed file changed later it's not reflected anything in photoshop but in case of place linked it will only show up in photoshop but you cannot edit them until it's relinked I recommend you to go with place embedded so that if you open your photoshop file on other computer or the location of the placed image changed it will not affect anything with your document but again there is a problem with place embedded too you cannot place multiple images rather you can place only a single image at a time so in case if you are looking to place 10 images you have to repeat the same process 10 times that is quite annoying so in that case you can simply go to image folder and select all the images you want to place in your document simply drag it and drop it in inside the photoshop but 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 be careful you can only drop them into the canvas area to place them actually in your current document if you drop them anywhere outside your canvas area whether on top panel or tool panel or even layer panel also it will open up images into separate documents i am closing all tabs and dragging all of them again into my document once you drop them on canvas you have to hit enter to fix one by one or you can scale rotate or move it where you want to place into your document all the images comes with separate layers and every layer is a smart object layer one more thing you must know when you placing anything from other photoshop document sometimes we work on same image size usually when editing cameras photographs or something like that so the point is if you working on several documents with the same dimensions for example i have few images from my dslr and i am placing here my logo and text maybe this is only for the practice purpose so that you can get my point Now what I am doing is I am selecting all the layers that I want to place on other images as well with help of move tool dragging them from my current image file and placing on to next document see what happened it's very difficult rather it's impossible to manage it manually the same xy position matching with the original one Let's delete all the layers and repeat again the same step but this time holding shift key before releasing your mouse button. Look at this. All the layers placed exactly the same position. There is one more option to load your multiple images into a single document and sometimes it really help you to work on multiple images. Let's jump to the file. go to a script and choose load files into a stack here you can choose between files and folder so i am selecting folder and hitting on browse set the input folder here where you placed your images now it shows me the all images name list It will take some time to prepare a separate document for you and here you can see all the images arranged on separate layers. 
This is all about from this video tutorial. Hope you like this video. Feel free to write me whether it's a formal hello or anything related to design and multimedia topics. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of this video.